Hi, I'm Misha and I'm the project manager of the Earthship Brighton project. I guess the real difference between Earthships and conventional buildings is they're a building that's designed to have a very low environmental impact. They're designed to do that because they heat, cool, power themselves, harvest all their water from the skies and use plants to treat their sewage. So they're a very, very different kind of style of building. The Earthship was built using as many reclaimed materials as possible. The floor here was made from offcuts of kitchen surfaces and tombstones. One of the things that we're trying to demonstrate here is how you can just use lots of different materials that we throw away as a society and as a community and actually build beautiful buildings from them. Probably the most obvious example are car tyres which form the main kind of back walls of the building but these as well we've used quite extensively throughout the project and they're glass bricks and as you can see what we have is just two bottles of two wine bottles, the bottom's two wine bottles and we just cut them up clean them, tape them together and we have one brick and from this brick we've managed to create sort of a whole wall and just lay them like bricks and it's just an example really of how you can just take a waste material and instead of throwing it away to landfill or doing whatever with it just taking it and building a beautiful building from it. Earthships are heated and cooled by passive solar thermal mass design. This is achieved by building massive walls by ramming tires full of earth. You can see here the inside of the wall. We have tires that are rammed with earth and also packed out so you end up with a nice flat rendered wall. Um, the advantage of using tires is that there's millions of them wasted every year around the world. In England alone we, we, we dispose of 45 million tires annually. Uh, so locking a thousand tires into this building uh, indefinitely uh, means that they've been safely disposed of. As well as requiring no power to heat and cool the building, the Earthship minimizes energy consumption with things like this sun tube, which allows natural light to come in and requires less lighting to illuminate the space. Water draining from the sink and bath goes into these indoor planters, where the, the plants are nourished by the wastewater. Uh, the water then is filtered to an odorless quality that can be used to flush the toilets and the toilets flush to uh, an outdoor reed bed septic tank where more flora is grown outside the building. As well as using bottles and cans in the tire walls, we use bottles for actual non-load bearing internal walls which allows for really beautiful ambient light to come through uh, without visibility, especially somewhere like a loo, it's really good. The hot water is preheated using solar hot water panels and then this biomass boiler which burns recycled wood pellets only needs to be turned on for a short while to bring the heat up to a scalding temperature. We're standing in the draft lobby of the Earthship. The front glass is angled uh, exactly perpendicular to the apex of the winter sun to allow maximum light penetration, uh, heating up the dense thermal mass of the floor and walls of the building, which allows the Earthship to stay a very comfortable temperature year-round with no power necessary.